Why do you draw your lines with a dash or a dot in between? I've gotten this question asked a couple of times on my channel, so I thought I would explain why I do this, whether this is a stylistic choice or if there's actually a functional reason that I do this. The reason behind this is actually really easy, and this is really just to help me draw straight without quivering or without deviating from a, a path that is off direction. This is a technique that I learned from others as well in the past and have employed in my own drawing. And also stylistically, I actually like my lines to not just be continuous. I think that looks a little rigid in a drawing. I think it looks a lot more natural if you break apart your line with either with a dash or just with a space in between, but not too much space. When you have too much space like this, which often is a sign of someone that's not very confident with drawing. They'll actually just break apart their line because they cannot hold their pencil with certainty. And this is not what I mean. When you are drawing really straight or you're tracing over something, this is a way that I can break apart the drawing a little bit more. And this is going to allow me to draw actually with more confidence. So what I want you to try is in the future, when you're drawing a very long line or a very straight line, try to break it apart. And so that this is going to help your hand not quiver or not deviate. And one of the beauties of using an iPad versus a physical paper when you're drawing straight is on a regular paper, you have to often twist the paper or rotate the paper so that you are drawing at a direction where it's comfortable for your hand. It's very awkward to be drawing a straight line across the page with, with your hand bent like this. So oftentimes people will actually rotate their paper in order to facilitate that direction of drawing. On the iPad, that's not so much the case anymore. So I could just have my iPad level parallel to the desk. And what I would do instead is just to rotate my canvas. And by rotating my canvas, I'm essentially drawing a straight line at an angle where it's most comfortable for my hand. And on the paper, this is actually, oops, that's not as straight as I would like, but on the paper, this is actually fairly straight. So for me, drawing a line that's parallel to each other as much as I can is to actually draw at an angle. And you'll see that I personally like to have a little bit of quiver in my drawing. I just think that lends to the style that I grew up seeing from, from older architects that is they just have this natural waver in the line and it just makes the drawing look less rigid. Now you don't have to introduce a dot like me. You can just break apart the line as you would naturally. And, and this is going to help you draw really straight as you can see here. Now, another thing that you can do is with a selection tool, if you did mess, mess up and it is off direction a little bit, you can just use the rotate button and rotate the line as you need to. Now this is not really applicable here, but all I wanted to show you, this is really the reason behind having to introduce a gap or a dot somewhere in the middle of my drawing. And you can see this very often in many of my illustrations where I rarely, rarely have one continuous line from start to end. And as you can see here, that's really hard to control the pressure all the way across. So what I'll do is I'll start at the beginning and at a point where I feel like I need to lift my hand up a little bit in order to keep going with the same pressure, I will. And oftentimes that is with a gap or with a dot in the middle. 